Hey everyone, Jim Phoenix here, and boy, am I excited to be back. And we have a great, well, I'll, we have a little special surprises in store for the Streaming Demons, but we've got The Last of Us, which is not the first of us, and it ain't the video game of us, and we've got Noah's Shark, motherfucker, must be Brannock, and we've got none other than, yeah, yeah. I don't know, how is that thing going <laughs> Song because they'll sue us, probably. Not a two one zero. Not two one zero. Theme song. Hit it. Or I was very keen. All this more the next year. We should do an acapella version. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Jim Phoenix back, and my voice is still gone, so we're going to talk like an FM radio for a while. And <laughs> today's special episode of Streaming Demons is brought to you by none other than... <laughs> and then the sponsors of the past came back. No. I wish. Yeah, yeah that was... I, I love the sponsors of the past. I really did. Thank you. It, it was very clever. I liked it. If were, no, yeah. They were, they were very... You know, they... they really helped out those people of the <laughs> past that i've never met and they're probably dead oh they're dead dead they're <laughs> fucking dead dead i uh what, what, what was combo box or higher cat what was that it was combo box oh my yeah, good good i like that are you bringing that back for your new podcast you know maybe i will maybe i will with TD the hollows titties td hollows and Hollow jam brannick all acronyms all coming at you. Yeah, coming at you this way. But that comes out shortly, so wait out for them. For right now, we are streaming demons, and this is our 53rd episode. Oh, God. Hey, good job. Good yeah, job, we you. actually did a year. Actually, this is what, year three, so bam. That's pretty good. Damn, that's not bad. Most podcasts don't get, get past uh, a couple episodes. So, uh, to like me, yeah. Yeah. Well, Hack, yeah. Well, I guess hack came back. I just saw it kind of blurp up. It sounded like the so. That was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it was. I listened to podcasts. It was a mistake. <laughs> uh, that bully, no, bully's bully great. Bully's great. Bully's great. Bully number uh, four is coming out soon. Uh, you no, know, please don't tell me it's bully. <laughs> I still have nightmares. I walk. I had to walk so. Okay, for those who don't know. <laughs> I'm podcasting for a long time. I bought this shit from my staff. I have fucking go at it. And I would brief. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't do any podcasting. I, I bought it for you guys. Because yeah. I think either you and Nicole, I don't want to do podcasting. I'm like, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. It was me um, and John me. Combo way back yeah. in the day. Yep. God rest his soul. I mean, he's still alive. <laughs> he's but, still alive, but God rest it. It's very tired now. I'm tired also. And I would have to preview each podcast so before it went out live. So I'm like, okay, I would go for walks and stuff like that. And like, Bully about broke me. I had to keep <laughs> fucking walking. I'm like, oh, I don't know. People think I'm stuck in my neighborhood now. <laughs> I think it probably almost oh, broke Court Court too because we had to keep bringing her back. I, I think Court Court's reaction and was found in the Halloween of oh, the oh, Thanksgiving special. When she was killing a bunch of people in her story, yeah, I think that yeah. was. Yeah, it was very uh, gruesome. Yeah, which I love it. We love court court wars. We love say. it. Court now, in this stream and demons episode, I got TV. We got two TV. Oh, we got two TV shows. Holy shit, we do. We have two TV shows and dark uh, deviations and a uh, dark deviation, which I called lighter than dark because I don't know my own fucking website. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Hey, Brian, want to do a letter in the dark? Like, what the fuck? No. What like, what do you mean, no? That would be kind of cool. And then I realized that wasn't what I was thinking it was. Oh, we figured you know, it out. We should bring it back to Dear Stabby. I, I did like Dear Stabby. Dear Stabby was a fun one. I, I, I like Dear Stabby. I wonder if, if Dear Stabby is still alive. Uh, You know, I think Dear Stabby lives in all of us. So I think. Sometimes, uh, literally. I think, I think it'd be good. Yeah, so we'll bring some stuff back. Who knows? Who knows? Or my good friend, Dr. Payne, would say, maybe. 
Uh, he, I thought, he would not say that. He would not say that. It's like, I don't know. Maybe. It's a, make enough beer. Make enough beer, Jimbo. Make enough beer. I don't know. All right. So we, okay, you go first. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> Brandon go first. And they've got like the only non TV show. And then we're going to do two TV shows in a row. And I already know my, I already know my TV show is going to beat the shit out of your movie. Probably. I already know this. Probably, because everybody's talking about it. Yeah, exactly. Ain't that the truth? Having a podcast as popular, popular, popular. This popular. this one is kind of going off the rails. Off the rail, off the fucking rails, motherfucker. Uh, to everyone who's listening in from wherever you're doing, <laughs> I know. I we're out of milk. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling my mom we're out of milk because I don't even live in the same country as she does. So fuck it. But she would, would she come over and bring you milk? She would send it in the fucking mail. She would put it in a bag <laughs> and it in the fucking mail. I'm pretty sure. See, and you're Canadian, so it would be a bag in a bag. A bag, a a bag, bag of in milk bag. in a bag. It's in a bag, bag. bag, man. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's just all of Canada or Quebec, but they do put milk in fucking bags for some reason. I have not figured out the reason. Over. I don't get it. It's weird. It's I would just like, cut the udder off and like, screw it, milk this. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. All right, so what's your movie, Box Human, if that is your real name? It is. It's I think the idea is actually yeah. kind of name. It is, yeah. It is. Um, so, all right. So I picked a movie based on the time lit. The time limit that I had today. Because, of course I did. Like, I had to get this done real quick. So... I looked on Tubi <laughs> to you pull that Tubi. out. You know Don't that's going to make me laugh. Point. For those who do not know, I am not pulling anything out whatsoever. <laughs> no idea. I'm just going to laugh if you pull it out. <laughs> it was a K moment. I may be ginger, but I'm not fucking that way. <laughs> no, you're ho ho ho. I don't know what you're talking about. I love looking at it. Dude, it's not out. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. It is not out. It's, it's you know, just put the hand sanitizer on it. You'll be Grandma's fine. Grandma's cookies. That's really weird, McBiggie. I don't know what the fuck that means in this context. I don't, I, I need to watch him eating grandma's cookies now because I think Mick. This is, you know, I don't kink shame usually, but I will today. <laughs> today I'm making an exception. Today I'm kink shame the shit out of everyone. So, all right. Yeah. So I right. went to Tubi, of course, because yeah. I love Tubi. We actually found the other movie that we were going to watch last week. <laughs> I wish. That was so funny. The Hallmark movie. Oh, Black my God. Black. I should have watched that. Black anyway, Black. so I looked in to find the shortest movie that I could find. <laughs> oh, God. And I found an hour and 10 minute movie. And nice. it was called, you know, Noah's shark and I thought that's to myself that's perfect <laughs> yeah. and uh and it was <laughs> it was for me um oh, to most people I think they would hate it um but I enjoyed it I I was literally <laughs> screaming in my bed out of sheer delight and joy <laughs> uh, hey 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 you said we shouldn't talk about this stuff on air um, that's a memo from HR. You're trying to bait me now, dude. Okay. Like, again, it was. It's, freezing, there's nothing least. that happens in my bed, trust me. Uh, <laughs> Except for screaming in pure delight of the shark movie because it was amazing. Pure delight. Yes. Oh, so you got my new gift. Yeah. A shark movie called Noah's Shark. Noah's Shark. Noah's Shark. Noah. 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 You okay there, dude? <laughs> He's no, gone. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. He's gone. So, Noah Shark is, uh -huh. it's almost played seriously, but almost played, like, not seriously. Okay. So, actually, the first two parts of it, I was in it to win it. The last half, yeah. they, not half, but the last part, they kind of lost me. But... The first half, especially the first half, I was giddy the entire time because really? it's insanely funny. Um, 
So, but again, like tongue in cheek, it's not Sharks of the Corn, which is amazing. Um, wait, wait, wait. There's actually a fucking movie called Sharks of the Porn. I love porn. it. Oh, God, the porn. <laughs> Sharks of the Porn. <laughs> I'm Burning Angel. That's a I'm new Burning one. Angel. It's got small hands. Yeah. It's got. It's great. Oh, it's great. My my shit auto texts auto corrects to small hands. <laughs> people now. I have to explain like I'm <laughs> talking people small hands. I love you, That's but still. Like, I, I need to get a new phone, man. I need to get a new phone. <laughs> Your FBI agent yeah. knows. He just knows. Way too much about me. Way too much. Way, way. Apple knows too Sharks. much. Everybody knows too much. Wow. Uh, but okay. It, okay. It, it, everyone knows, but who knows what we know? As Everybody, we know. my FBI, FBI agent knows that I enjoyed Sharks of. Wait. Well, yeah, Sharks of the Corn, too. But, I love uh, looking at it. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I love looking at Sharks of the Corn. I do. Well, that, too. Well, I'll talk. Actually, I'm going to write a review on Sharks of the Corn. So oh, I'm going to shelve that because I have drawings. Oh, absolutely. I have so many yeah. drawings. Um, nice. But this one, I don't have drawings because we're, we're talking live yeah. right now. We're just talking I'm dead. Talking you. To you, with that. you, through you. Okay, so. In you. Oh, wait, no. That was- <laughs> something else. Step one back. Step one back. HR. HR is in my office again. Har, har, har. Oh, wait. You mean that's, that's an HR. Sorry. Okay, so. Shark Noah's Shark is about mm. a um, priest who's actually pretty woke. He's pretty chill because, like in the first scene, he's like, you know, if there's a, you know, God's gonna help us if he's there or if she's there. I'm like, hey, oh, wow. equal opportunity priest. Uh, so he is gonna have this really shitty TV show where he exercises demons out of people. How well, does one of the TV show? huh? How does everyone get a TV show? Everybody has a TV show. Everyone but me now. What the fuck? Everybody, everybody has one. Out. Well, I'm sorry. I'm on my own TV show now. You gotta, you gotta be a priest, and you gotta exercise demons on people. Like jumping jacks and shit. Maybe. So, right. one of the people that he's going to exercise this demon out of. Baby Yoda. Yes. Baby Yoda. Baby- in- gotta leave that shit. Baby Yoda's in this movie. Yes. <gasps> oh my god. So Baby Yoda accuses him of sexual misconduct. I love and of course, looking at it. Mm, that's uh, weird. Appropriate. That, that is that, inappropriate. That's yeah. really kazoo. That, shit. that is kazoo. Kazoo do-do. worthy. Um, so he his TV show gets canceled. It's a sad thing. I actually really liked the character of the priest. I thought the acting in it is appropriately wooden and weird, and I loved all of it. So basically after that, um, one of his, I think, producers, I couldn't tell what he was, but comes to him with an idea of he knows that he's he's found a book about a witch who knows about the Ark of the Covenant? No. Sorry. Sure. Noah's Ark. Noah's no Ark. Nope. <laughs> I got that confused. You? Anyway, Noah's Ark. So Noah had another son that nobody talks about. Um, and that son slept with a harlot and she had, yeah, she had a baby and the baby begot a cult or whatever. Anyway, that's not a big problem. The big problem is that because the son like went and like slept with this harlot and stuff like that, um, he was cursed and he was cursed by a talking shark. (laughs) And at this point. That was when I screamed in delight with this <laughs> shark puppet coming up and pretending to talk to him. And I'm like, this is the best movie I've ever seen at, in this moment. Just this moment. Okay. What kind Not of puppet? We're talking like Jim Henson puppets? Or oh, just, God, no. Is like, it Roller Gator? Uh, two steps up from Roller Gator. Oh. But like oh. babyish steps. Baby steps. It's Baby. like... The real gator. Got it. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a something. And so, again, talking shark, talking evil shark, I'm Ooh. like in. I'm in. So, Noah's Ark is now possessed or something because they threw the dude out and the shark ate him or whatever. Um, 
So the priests, they find a piece of wood. Like the guy's like, this <laughs> this is from Noah's Ark. And he exercises the piece of wood. It's really good. He's exercising great- his wood? I was doing that earlier today. I was exercising my wood. And I then I protect my hands. Do you know what's getting really bad? I'm so OCD and I got so much germophobia. I actually protect my hands as I protect my... We are in camp right now? We are on everything. Oh, shit. My bad. I know where I said that. Mm. Yes, you were exercising your wood. Go on. Yes, I wasn't, unfortunately. You but weren't exercising was. your wood. No, this priest was. The priest was exercising your wood? Yes. Dude. Yes. Dude. Consensually. Dude, Don't kink people. shame me. Don't you I, I, shame no, me. I, right, you're right. You know? So, um, so the guy's like, okay, we got to find Noah's Ark because... For one, that's like an incredible find. We can say that, like God yeah. exists and whatnot. So they God go exists off on a boat. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> if they fucking say we need a bigger boat in this fucking movie, I'm suing. They did not. Sadly, okay. that, that's a fucking miss opportunity. That was a missed opportunity. But <laughs> they had to go, and because the boat was actually located in Turkey, they had to. I swear to God, they had to go get a mercenary who was this producer's like ex girlfriend, who was like this badass gun person. But like, it's just it's crazy. It's one of those like right. we need you for a job, you know? Like that's in every like one of these fucking movies where it's like only you will do. Yeah, exactly. And so she comes along. The TV guy comes along. This is kind of when it kind of lost me because I kept going into flashbacks. And I'm like, I don't need flashbacks. I remember the movie because I just watched it. Like, I oh, just. The, oh, the fucking movie? Yeah. Oh, that's insane. It was insane to pad out the movie. And it's only like an hour 20 or 10? Hour and 10. Hour so, 10. probably oh literally 10 of those minutes were flashbacks. Because you're fucking not hour 60, man. So, <laughs> the ending of it kind of lost me. But again, like, I if people like bad movies and not like Shark and Steen or whatever that movie was, I didn't like that one. Um, but if you look, f- if you're wanting like a good bad movie that's kind of tongue in cheek, but <laughs> is gonna be great whether you're high or whether you're sober, because I was sober and my friends are like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "I <laughs> think so. <laughs> I think so." Want some mom's spaghetti? I'm a fucking. And again, like for me to be alone and laughing my ass off, like immediately I was like, oh my God, I have to call somebody. Like I need a support person to watch this with me. And, and you so didn't fucking call me. So basically, um, I'm going to be watching this movie again at some uh-huh. point. Uh-huh. Um, it was fun. So uh-huh. I'm going to give it, and it actually had pretty good music. So uh-huh. I'm going to give it a three stars. Three, three, three Cthulhu's. Yes. Three Cthulhu's. Yeah, thanks for getting our rating system right. It's only been three yeah, fucking years. I know. Whatever. Like, Dude, I, I forget. I forget the name of this. Is it Cream and Demons? Next up on Cream and Your Demon. No. Steven Demons? No. Cream and Demons. No. All right. Three stars. Huh? Well, shit. You know what? I can follow this. Yes, you can. I can follow this and I can fucking crush it. Why? Because I got the last of us motherfuckers. That's right. We got Baby Yoda. We've got the dude <laughs> from Game of Thrones. No, not that dude. The other dude. The one that fucks his sister. No, not that guy who fucks his sister. The other guy oh. who fucks the other other guy who fucks his sister, right? Jesus fucking Christ. That's a lot. And we've, we've got the girl from Game of Thrones. No, not that girl. No, no, no. The one who kills the big dude. No, no, no. The- not that. I can oh. build it. Yes. What oh, about the- yeah? But, okay, but, that one, the that one, not that one, the other one, not that one, uh, the it, other what, one. What, <gasps> yes, right there. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got Pedro Pascal and He's Bella great. Ramsey. Pedro Pascal is great, and so is Bella Ramsey. Bella, oh. it, it's it's one of those things where you need the perfect casting, man. And when I saw Bella Ramsey, I'm like, that don't fucking look like Ellie, but <laughs> but. I can kind of see, and Pedro doesn't really like like Joel. So I'm like, I don't know, man. You know, like, if you kind of use your imagination, it looks like Ellie and Joel, but they embody Ellie and Joel, which oh, okay. is far more important. They're not doing a like a straight for straight. 
Yeah, they're like, oh, this looks just like it. We must get this person looks just like this person in there. And they're like, no, they're actually doing some nice acting in it. And their charisma is very much on stage. And I will have to say, I will admit, I played the video game. One of my friends told me, you have to play this fucking game. It's the most amazing game in the world. The story would just grab you and kick you in the nuts 12 times. And she was right. The story just kicked me in the nuts 12 times. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, this fucking game. Is that? I almost bought a PlayStation just to buy the the, the sequel. Like this, this game is fucking awesome. And they made the TV show. I'm like, oh man, this is going to, I want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. Because you know, it's like, my God, can you really beat that game? Can you really do better than the fucking game already did story-wise? And the answer is yes. Yes, they can. Mm. Wow. And they do it by being extremely faithful to the fucking game. Yeah, yeah. you need to. Yeah, they they don't do like beat by beat by beat by beat, but they do broad swaps and they, they make the characters move. You care about them. And for the people who haven't played the video game, as I was watching with someone who's never played the game, and they're like, oh my God, this like I don't want to say out loud, like, yeah, don't get too attached to the character. <laughs> it's like just like, oh, it's kind of like Game of Thrones. I didn't even say that even. But they're like, oh my God, I can't wait. Like, oh my God, why they do that fucking character? I'm like, yeah, well, that's that's the name of the game. That's the name the of, the of the game. The last of us. Which is the name of the game. And I will tell you, there, there's parts of the game that creep me out because I don't like funguses. Mm. <laughs> don't like them. They even fuck it. Some mushrooms freak me out. I'm like, God damn it. And if you haven't seen The Last of Us, it's just basically one big fungus. Clickers and diggers and da 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 da. And I'd rather see a zombie. I, I'd rather see a real zombie than see one more Last of Us clickety click clacks. It's just something about the eyes crusting over. It looks like a syphilis fucking patient, man. Mm. And humanity at its worst. Which is why I love. Like they 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 don't pull any punch, punches on this shit. They make people real. They make you feel it. The CGI is probably there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't is know. there somewhere? No, it's got to be there somewhere. It's, they probably have practical effects too, but I can't imagine they do everything in practical. They absolutely have a great sound, and the writing is solid. It is. Absolutely, from start to finish, Neil Druckerman. Just me, Druckerman. I don't know why he's called you Druckerman. My bad. I thought you were gonna say Neil Diamond, and I was Neil gonna Diamond. lose my oh, shit. Neil <laughs> Diamond did our fucking music for that Buffy the Vampire podcast we had. Neil yeah. Diamond. Neil fucking Diamond did our shit for that. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Like Heartlight. Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond. <laughs> like Neil fucking Diamond did it. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. It we had to like wait a couple fucking months. I, I do hear that if you wrestle him and beat him in the wrestle, he will do a song for you. Yeah, that's why the pain take him. No, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mason. They are creating, and I do believe they are faithful as fuck. And that was one thing I hated about Game of Thrones. It was faithful as fuck for like the first couple seasons and then went off the rails, completely off the rails, and nothing made sense to the characters anymore. This was faithful through and through, and Pedro Pascal, uh, Pascal, or Pascal, as I like to call him, <laughs> and uh, Ramsey are a maze balls in this. I, I think I see some awards. I, I love it. There's things that I want to see more of. It, even though I played the video game and I knew how it end, it still had me on the edge of my seat. Yeah, it's like I knew how to fucking ends. It still had me on the edge of my seat. That's a mark of a good TV show. And it had it wouldn't work as a movie. No, it, well, there's, there's too much. There's too much yeah. to build off of. Yeah, absolutely. And no spoilers. I won't spoil anything. But I, I think Bella should get an award for one of her episodes where, let's just say, it involves a bar, and uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. It involves a bar and a diner. And eating, the end. I know that um, well. it had more of um, the queer story too in it as well from the game. That surprised uh, me. But expanded. 
That surprised me. I, I kind of remembered. I, I made a, a, a tweet. So we used to live tweet. And by the way, HBO, you guys dropped the fucking ball. You guys are horrible PR people. <laughs> but I'll be straight out with like, I mean, Showtime was retweeting us. I'm like, fucking your competitors. <laughs> because the woman from Yellow Jack was in it. So HBO, suck a dick. Anyways, see you guys later in Game of Thrones 5. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, whatever. They don't do that much for me anymore. I don't work for them no more. So you are like, oh yeah, like this episode, like I forgot. I actually forgot. Like, oh, there's like one chapter. Where you, you know, when you see Bill, I'm like, oh yeah, my God, that's right. That's gonna be, you know, this guy. And like, oh, that's right, they are gay. I'm like, oh, that's right, nice. And then you see the other guy, uh, Bill's boyfriend, significant I'm, other. Significant other husband would have would have been partner. If they got, yeah, yeah, partner. I like partner. Yeah. And I was also watching White Lotus. I'm like, holy shit, this is the same motherfucker. It's the same motherfucker in White Lotus. I think he's <laughs> himself. But I forgot that was in there, so it was a nice to surprise. But I didn't know Ellie's story would be in there because I knew from rumors of I didn't play the second game yet. I knew from rumors from part two that she was gay. I did not see anything of it because I didn't buy the download expansion packs for part one. Mm. So that was brand, that one story was brand new to me when she's in the mall with her friend. Brand new to me. I, I suck an old person. So when, when are you going to bring your friend over? I'm like, no, I, your friends are so cute. Yes, of course, darling. You can sleep with your friend in the same room. That's what <laughs> girls do together. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, I think a lot of parents uh, don't expect that. No. Yeah. No one expects a Spanish conversation. <laughs> Nobody ex- ex- expects the lesbian invasion. The lesbian invasion? That was the name of my band in high school. Oh, weird. Oh, mine too. I know you look familiar. <laughs> we were and we and uh, they were bandmates. <laughs> we were bandmates. That's good. All right, so it, it goes on. I mean, there's some great surprises. I mean, love people losing their shit because apparently fictional characters can't be gay or something. They uh, they do that every time. Every fucking are black. Time. Like the mermaid being black. That's like it's. A, it's not faithful to the original. Like the original where she fucking dies and go to purgatory after the guy cheats on her. That original? Where she turns oh, into sea like, foam? Yeah, I was like, oh, you mean the the the, the, the Disney remake of the original. Okay. And like all the Disney remakes are not like the originals anyway, guys. So just chill the fuck out. This one. This Last of Us is on HBO. This Last mm-hmm. of Us is amazing. If you played the video game, it's still got some prizes. It's got some awesomeness. If you haven't played the video game, it's got some awesomeness. It's not for little kids. Not because yeah. of anything except for the level of violence and the clickety clacks and the fucking heartbreak that happens. This is not for a little kid one. It, it should be rated R. I don't know what kind of TV M or not M. What would the TV rating be on this? MA. Got it. Yeah. It's, it's an honest MA. You can speed read this. It's like fucking 50 minute episodes. Go for it. There's only like nine of them. Speaking we, of clicker, yeah. yeah, I I learned today that in the UK, that means like a little bit of poo stuff, like stuck on the the poo hairs. Like clean. Oh, that's a toilet paper clicker, huh? I didn't know that. It's clicker, yeah. So there you go, an extra gross surprise. The more you know, the more you know. and you know. Speaking of uh, not clickers or the UK, but court <laughs> He writes off the last of us for our website. Yes. And Go she's check it out. Job. I love it. There, some of my favorite reviews are coming from court court, especially last of us. There's sometimes which you get a review before I get to watch. I'm like, Oh shit, I'm not watching. Anything yet. <laughs> exactly. And, but no spoilers. Uh, yeah. No spoilers at all. Go check it out. I'm giving this a five out of five. Cthulhu's even though yeah. HBO is kind of douchey with me right now. Yeah, I'm not holding it back. Five out of five. I honestly think both Pedro and Bella deserve rewards. Bella more so than Pedro. But that's just you know, me. and they gave her so much shit. I w- I hated that in the beginning because 
Um, I remember hearing the the hype and whatnot, and everybody just went right to the thing of, well, she's not pretty enough. And it's Which like really weird. Yeah. Fuck off. Like I don't know what to say to that. Like you can eat a dick. I don't know. Like she's or an actress. Not. Like there's, there's no, she uh... looks great. It's about the end of an apocalypse. Like it's an apocalypse thing. Like. Does she need to be all makeup and like gorgeous and like having titties the like TT? Giant, leave her alone. Right, fuck off. Like, right. so I'm, I'm I'm really glad she's getting a praise for it. I'm glad that she's getting accolades, um, because she deserves it. She really does. Both yeah, of them, like you said, her. they're both phenomenal actors. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal as somebody says. What? You said nice? maze balls. Oh, of course I said maze Holy fuck shit bugs. She's only 19. Yeah. She's very young. Good for her. We we don't share a birthday though. So whatever. My birthday is oh. cool. <laughs> Th- this is it. This is it. If you're if you're coming down and saying like you, you, if you saying like a eighteen or nineteen year old doesn't look good, what the fuck's wrong with you? First of all, exactly. Like, and, and second, like, sure if people, you can't make a connection with people, I don't know. Man. And again, oh. it's you. You look at the quality of the work that they bring. If yeah. they're bringing quality work, and again, it's not. She's not. She looks great. She looks great. Anyway. Yeah. She looks. She looks like she's in a, a zombie apocalypse. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and she's like, tampon. I have a tampon now. Thanks, house. I just robbed. <laughs> oh, sorry, the foundation wasn't. I really wanted my foundation, but right. I was looking for uh, some concealer and uh, some highlights and uh, a lashy doodle. Mm. I love lashy doodles, by the way. But yeah, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. And uh, you haters, go fuck yourself. Yeah. So that's five out of five for me. So what's up next? Ooh. Dark Deviations. Dark Deviation, which where we take a horror-esque episode of something that's not known for horror. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Horror. There you go. Horror. I horror. really have to enunciate on this one. And it was so yeah. surprising to me this suggestion that you had and I'm like why and you're like well it's her read of course and so I was looking for her and just like that mummy movie we watched she was not in it <laughs> okay so I have a confession we're talking about 90210 even though <laughs> I saw it when it first came out for a bit I didn't I, you know I wasn't like a junkie on it I honestly thought Tara Reed was in it but I think Tara Reed's in everything and now I'm so embarrassed. Um, I, 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 I pulled some strings and uh, I, I got a hold of Terry's agent. Oh. And uh, they might call in. Oh, okay. Yeah, they might not too. I don't know. I don't want to okay. problem. No okay, question. yeah, don't, you don't want to put stress on them. That's true. Yeah. But um, now I feel really bad because I didn't know that Terry is not in this fucking episode. So I guess Terry okay. might call in to talk about 90210, a show she's never been in. So I was actually really excited to watch this because I have never watched 90210. Never watched 90210? Not one episode. Not anything. So I was coming in 100% fresh eyes. I've Mm -hmm. never seen it at all. I've only seen, like, I only saw, like, you know, the, the trailers and shit that they would throw up on TV. So I only had these, like, preconceived ideas and things like that. You know, it's the sexy show and this and that. Um, it has no point. (laughs) Well, it's a TV show, like, like, lasted like a bazillion years, I think, for kids who are in high school. It has. Okay, I was like 30 minutes in and I'm like, okay, so the stakes so far. <laughs> the stakes so Who far. Invited to the cool party. <laughs> are like, what are we going to wear to the party? And I'm like, mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I have so many notes. I'm like, literally, the opening is just pumpkins and guitar riffs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know the guy who was supposed to do the original soundtracks for 90210, and he was 
he was on vacation when they try to call him. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, and his agent's like, he didn't want any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a shit show. Who wants to fucking watch this shit? Yeah, the, his they were probably like, be, don't be a squeef. Yeah. I wrote that down. <laughs> yeah, this, did that, is that one that they actually say a squeef? Yeah, don't be a squeef. Okay, for those who don't know, this show came out in the 90s-ish? Early 90s. 90s, 90s, late 90s, 80s, 90s to 2000s. 90s. Yeah, like l- later on, later yeah. on, but yeah, in the 90s. Who was 91? So you have two kids from Minnesota, Jason Priest, or sorry, Brandon Walsh and Brenda Walsh. The Walshes, they moved from Minnesota down to 90210, which we only know that's the zip code in Beverly Hills because of the fucking title of the show of a bunch of rich kids so it's a fish out of water they try to adjust who, who knows how the fuck they got down there i can't remember their dad made it big i don't know the only and, adults you see yeah the mom and dad <laughs> the only adults you Jim will ever see Walsh, carol potter and james Hellcross. <laughs> which are great they were they were great they were fun well absolutely they're very cool and this this launched a lot of careers oh a hundred percent when i saw shannon doherty Tori Spelling, eh. um, Luke uh, Perry, like Ian Varing. yeah, Luke but, Perry. But seriously, like all of the boys looked exactly the same. In fact, I was so confused. I thought her brother was literally the person <laughs> she was dating. And when <laughs> they... season eight, it is. <laughs> Oh, okay. That makes actually a lot of sense. Because I'm like looking at her boyfriend thinking, you just want to fuck your brother. Like, it's they look exactly the same. And, I, you know, whatever. That's fine. Like, I watch Star Wars. Like, it's cool. Whatever. Thank um, you. But <laughs> it was so hard to tell any of them apart. Because they're all... The girls, you can. The boys really? look all the same. The girl, like Tori Spelling and Jenny Garf look like the twins. Shannon Dorn at least has like different color hair. Tori they Spelling has hair. that nose. An art card. It's the nose. No, no, you can't be saying that. It's nose. She has nose. She, she has a nose. nose. Everyone has a nose. Yeah, they, they don't have a Tori Spelling, Spelling nose though. Yeah, and Tori's on it because of her dad. Let's, let's be fucking honest. This is Aaron yeah. Spelling bullshit. So. Which honestly, I liked. <laughs> Her story, which <laughs> okay, so it's they're, so they're doing costumes, talking about costumes. So who does what costume? Uh, Jace or Brendan or, or Brandon? Brendan, Brandon Walsh is Dracula, right? And he, then, he's the kid that stays at home. He's like, I'm gonna hand out shit to the trick or treaters. Like, this, I'm staying at home. He hands out raisins or some bullshit. Yeah, and that oh god, guys, that is actually a plot point. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. It, it is. It is. It's a huge, fuck hands out raisins on Halloween. Nature's candy. Nature's I, candy. Fucking okay, what? Oh, what? Oh, I, I, it's okay. I, I was Detroit right. for a second and my internet cut out, but. It's fucking candy, bitches. Raisins it, stab you. Oh, yeah. my God. You're going dun, 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 dun. I can't do the rest of the song. We'll get sued. No, you can't. Like, hurt from the grapevine. Y- yes. Motown. Motown. City of Motown, they don't, they don't like it. But yeah, so like raisins are a big deal. Um, raisins. Eggs are a big deal. Like this, I could eggs not, make, I could not make heads or tails of this show. Okay, for those of you that don't know, in small towns and apparently fucking Beverly Hills, people on Halloween go egging, which means you throw eggs at cars or houses and people. Like back in the older days, like not anymore. Uh, oh yeah, eighties and well, no, now you fucking get shot. You did that. No, like because eggs are, like, are fucking five dollars for twelve of them. Throw this shit. You you scrape that egg off, son. You scrape that fucking exactly. Egg off. When he's like, oh, I have three cartons and blah. I'm like, shit, man. Like you just spent fifteen bucks. <laughs> they are nine. They're nine hundred two one zero. You know what I mean. That's well, true. Just, they don't care. They're rich kids. They don't care about eggs. They don't care about money. Did <laughs> like you ever go egg in box? Um, I did not. I did um smash a few pumpkins in my day, but they were my pumpkins. Oh, they, they don't fucking count for your own pumpkins. <laughs> they they're did because pumpkins. I worked hard on them. <laughs> they were very hard. I no, was I was the good little box. Oh, well, I was a... You were a hellion. You were a yeah. hellion. 
We mostly egged each other, though. We didn't egg, like, cars that much. Yeah, and- I mean, I could see that as fun. It's like water balloons, except grosser. Yeah. Yeah, much. and then like, Much yeah. grosser. And harder to get out of your clothes. Just like the tar from the tire fires we used to do. Mm-hmm. I don't want the tire fires. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so Halloween, one guy wants, like, Brian Austin Green wants to go egging, or David Silver wants to go egging, and, like, the other guy Stop. wants to get laid. Yeah, like we're like, it's going to party. Cool clip. I'm not invited. And we've we got Tori wants to be a mermaid or some shit. Okay, so she's tell no, she tells everybody, I'm gonna have this great costume. Okay. And you're not gonna know about it until I get there. And this is her whole <laughs> deal. And I could I I actually really enjoyed this part. So she comes dressed as a mermaid and actually it's a really good costume it's a cute costume but the funny part is she can't walk and that is literally her character's story and then when asshole Zoro comes up and he's all like you shouldn't do that I'm like fuck off dude she's having fun you know yeah it's kind of inconvenient we've all had inconvenient costumes like yeah she couldn't friends like yes we have yes or costumes too that's what I meant Custom. Yes. And like, so that was like her big thing. And honestly, because of her costume, it saved her friend's, uh, maybe her friend's life. You know? Or at the very least, her friend's next episode. Her her friend's sanity or, 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 or hope. Anyway, so yeah, because in the last 10 minutes is when we actually get something of substance. But anyway, before that, five there's a lot. Of story, by the way. If anyone oh, yeah. like, it's basically an hour of commercials, right? Right. So through this hour of commercials, yeah, you're right. The, the <laughs> biggest thing was like, am I going to the cool party? Yes or no? Usually, I was like, yes, except for like two or three people. What and am then, I going to wear? What am I going to wear? And then... So one girl wears yeah. a witch costume. Which girl? The witch girl. Which girl? Right. The witch girl. Yeah. Um, the the which witch, which is the witch, the one that's on first. The one I thought was Tara Reed. <laughs> it's not. Tara I know. Reed. It's really dark. I, know. <laughs> I know. Um, but I honestly, yeah. it reminded me so much. So she first she comes out with this one outfit, and it's kind of sexy. It's like sexy ner- uh, 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 maid kind of a thing. <laughs> and of course, it's funny. Like nowadays, like that wasn't. I mean, it was sexy, but it wasn't like kind of how it is today I, like, I, i've seen worse people oh, okay <laughs> the costume that jenny garf is wearing is tamer than the stuff i see at school now exactly it's it's actually a really tame outfit but, but for uh, the early Shannon 90s, Doherty, yes Shannon Doherty is like Boo, babe you gotta cover that up you know like guys are gonna think the wrong thing of you like thankful. You know, it's not going to be good. Like, but this whole time I'm really thinking, because she's like, what are you? You know, and the whole time I'm thinking like that, that scene in Mean Girls where she's like, I'm a bunny. Duh. I've never seen Mean Girls. Sorry. You need to see Mean Girls because it's great because I have a whole thing about dressing sexy for Halloween and the whole thing I was thinking about that. So she actually doesn't get the French maid costume. Uh-huh. She gets it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We did it. After how many episodes we have a good. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I-, I love how much that tickles you. Let's go. I love uh-huh. it. I love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. stop the part. Uh-huh. <laughs> stop. Hands are up here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Stop. I'm not doing anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's be out of the loop. Are you sure, Dad? Uh-huh. What do you think it's going to I can't stop it. It keeps going. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Okay, stop. Seriously. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Stop. Who cares? Jim. Okay. Jim. Jim. <laughs> Yes. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, have my uh, notes uh, out. Uh, uh, Stop. Uh, uh, I have my notes uh, uh, out. You're gonna uh, make uh, it. Uh, you're not gonna make it beautiful anymore. You gotta. You uh, gotta bring it out. 
<laughs> you got to pop, pop that out when the timing's that. right. Looking at it. Yeah, bring it out. You still have it out? I love it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yes, the plot points are, what are we going to wear for our costume? <laughs> Candy versus raisins. Grandma's cookies. Grandma's cookies. <laughs> um, and so, and this girl just got dumped. So she wants to look beautiful. I get that. Like she wants, yeah. she wants to bounce back, you know, she wants, so she goes to, um, the, they go to the party yeah. and everybody's dressed up, um, and she comes out as like this witch, I guess. It it does not look like a witch outfit, but no. she says it is. She has like a cape, I guess. It, it looks like not lingerie. She it was lingerie with basically a wand. That was it, which no. is whatever. But and Shannon Doherty has like a good point. She's like, did your mom? okay this like what but i get it it's like you know i'm a teenager i'm experiencing my body i want to look beautiful you know yeah. and yeah. Shannon doherty is like okay i get it but just be careful and she's like i will be careful and so they're having fun at the party and whatnot um dracula at the door there's a chick that he likes she comes over she's Mr. got oh, this is her house. Yeah. whatever she had she had two kids bad hair <laughs> I didn't like her. Eighties, dude, or it was like it was the nineties. It was the nineties, and it was very that era and that yeah place. Anyway, I did like her vest. Anyway, so she hangs around. There is a plot point of the children having to go to the bathroom. (laughs) Everyone has to go to the bathroom. This thing, man. (laughs) <laughs> the children do the mermaid gotta do it i mean like again we're like 30 minutes in and i'm like where the fuck is the plot the stress, the stress is like i need to pee yeah like i'm like why am i watching this was scripted somebody like there's somebody got script- paid to write the shit somebody got paid somebody got paid to script supervise the shit like yep yep we're doing great good job guys <laughs> A- anyway um the guy at the party who made all the mixtapes, he's striking out with the ladies. So he decides, fuck it, I'm leaving. He meets his friend who's like still waiting to have an egg fight with his friends. Yeah, that's kind of sad because his friend did not get invited to the cool party. This is yeah. the high school, and this is where sometimes if you have friends from grade school to junior high, this is where you start diverging. And spoiler alert. Not that I would know that, Jillian. But yeah, you're Probably right. Bitch. Fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, but not Brian Austin Green, but the other kid, he don't make the next episode. Oh, he don't? No, 90210 went fucking hardcore at this one. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Rape's not our sponsor. By Rape the way. is not our sponsor, which it's is coming rape. up. Yeah. Which is still not our sponsor. They're coming up and they're still not Rape, but Rape is really not our sponsor. No. But I loved their little dialogue of like literally the guys, like, you know, um, <laughs> I wrote this down. Times have changed, and not for the better. Yeah, because uh, it's basically he's talking about like you know when we were kids. I'm like fucking dude, you're when like we were kids. Last you're like year. thirteen. Right. Yeah, you're like thirteen. I I wrote in my notes. Fuck off. <laughs> that that I well yes that is the national reaction to it. And you're right, but that sets up the next episode where the kid blows himself the fucking way. Boom. Does he really? Yep, yep. Are you shitting me? He fucking dies next episode. He's dead, so. Wow. That is a hard turn. The character. Yeah, he is just, it's not even like um, fucking depressed. It's kind of like accidental death. That is a hard turn from yeah. this episode, which yeah. again, coming in fresh a- eyes, I'm like, nothing is happening until, until we get to witchy poo. Yeah, <laughs> Tell witchy poo. Oh, that, witchy no, poo. Yeah. <laughs> so she's going around. She's like, ah, I kind of like that guy. I kind of like that guy's butt. Um, I kind of like that guy, but mm, I like that handsome cowboy over there. So she goes and she flirts with him and they go get some snacks and he's a little bit controlling. Like that's the red flag a little bit. Right. She's like, I want some, I don't know, taquitos. Like food or, and he's yeah. like, you don't want taquitos. You want, you want these. And she's like, 
the image. Okay, whatever. Like, okay. My jeans. So it gets kind of crowded, and um. Who's like, the witchy yeah. girl? Who's the witchy girl? With the whose names? I don't know. Kelly. Okay. Kelly's the witchy girl. For those who don't, Kelly and uh, Kelly, I believe, was played by Tara Reid, but apparently it's Janine fucking Garth. Yeah, uh, it's not uh, yeah. It's no, fine. it's not Terry. Not this entire episode. You watched the entire episode. And you didn't see Terry once. Oh, that's right. I shouldn't say too many spoilers. Anyway, yeah. they go upstairs and the so the ra- getting out of the mermaid tail comes back in a big way. Right. <laughs> They, they, uh, rape is not our sponsor. Anyway, this episode was ban- Bananas Cuckoo, but in a uh-huh. great time capsule way. You know, like, yeah. it was a great little time capsule. It was actually a lot more wholesome, which is hilarious. You it's talking peaky. about the, you talking about the next it? episode? No, I'm like, no. From what I've watched, no. Like, this is just kids, like, Talking about raisins as nature's candy and like you know, like all that. Like um, so you could you could have knocked me down with a feather with that revelation because I would have had no clue. Because yeah. with this, it's it's like honestly, I was texting my friends, I'm like, this is really surprisingly wholesome. Um, Shannon Doherty did a great job. I actually really liked her character. Um I still think she's dating her brother. <laughs> ben Doherty. Yeah, no, Sharon Shannon did really well. Uh, the 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 fish out of the water fish. Their character is very interesting because they change the most. The other ones are kind of like these superficials for a long, long, long time. Some get drug habits, some don't. Some go through divorces and some what the fuck? Hold on. Right. Dude. Do 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 do. Oh, is it the agent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Um, I'm put myself in pause. Uh, could okay. you talk like anything for like two minutes? Okay. Or um, like two seconds. Okay. So what am I going to talk about? Okay, I don't mind raisins. I never really minded raisins as like something that I would get out of my trick or treat. What I did mind was when I got pennies because like you don't, you can't actually do anything with pennies. You can't even like buy candy with pennies. Oh. Uh, pennies, yeah, pennies are bad. But you know what was not bad? We've got none other than Tara fucking Reed. What? We've got fucking Tara Reed. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, Tara. You're on with Jim and Brannick. We're on Big the fans. Street. How are Big you? Big fans. Hey, it's good to be here. Okay, yeah. so Tara, we got some soft questions. I mean, first of all, you were saying, yeah, big fans. We loved you in what was the mummy? And then Apple Mummy Pie. Dearest. Mummy um, Dearest. Apple Pie. Uh, Horse, oh my Rigi god. House. Uh, I loved you in Sharknado. Brennan Cage. You. I love Sharknado. It's awesome. And then we thought you were in 90210, but apparently. Really? Jenny Garth. Yeah, that bitch. She always gets all the shows that I think I'm in. No, no. Jenny Garth, all she's is blonde. What am I? Blonder, huh? Um, Brannick. You know what? I'm just going to say this, though. You you have a lot of talent, though. You have a lot of talent. Like, we don't watch Jenny Garth movies. You know, we watch That's her. True. We do not watch Jenny Garth movies. You're very mm-hmm. correct, sir. We I can call you, sir. Man, yeah. Okay. Yeah, call me very correct, sir. We do not watch Jenny Garth movies here. We only watch Tara Reid movies. And matter of fact, I am so honored. I want to. I want to pitch. I know you guys probably get a lot of stuff like this, and I'll let you plug stuff. I swear to God, I, I'm just so conscious of your time, so precious right now. But you, would you like to do a podcast where you read books? We want to call it Tara Reads. Tara Reads. Think about it. Tara Reads. I fucking love it. I love yeah. That shit. Hell yeah. No more living in the woods for me. Uh, I mean, where it might be mansion for me. Yeah. Um. Uh. Box. Awesome. You know, is 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 that audio kind of like the same for you? Is it kind of like weird? Mm, it's a little bit. You know. A bit she, she, could, yeah. she could. be having oh, a, cold. Cold. Oh, a cell phone. Oh, a cell phone. Well, you know. Would you? Yeah. Have? Right. Cell phone. She yeah. could have a cold, head cold, like you do. You know, oh, like okay. uh, it's it's a lot of things. Wait a minute. Wait a fuck a minute, box. Box, 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 box. What, 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 what? Are you fucking Bigfoot? 
Are you God Sasquatch? damn it! Are you Sasquatch? <laughs> I'm Sasquatch. I'm not your you fuckers, Donald Terry. Oh, you uh, piece of uh, shit! Uh, hang up! Hang up! Hang up! <laughs> that son of a bitch! Uh, Bigfoot uh, got us again. Uh, that fucking guy. Who gives up? Who keeps giving Bigfoot our number? <laughs> fucking Bigfoot get Terry Reed's agent now. That's what I want to know. Holy <sighs> shit! That fucking guy. Yeah, I. I hate that we guy. pour our hearts out to Terry Reed and turn up the goddamn Bigfoot. Yeah, we are we are actually big Terry Reed fans. So like Tinder life. Pour not Bigfoot, not Reed Bigfoot fans Bigfoot. anymore. No. 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 Okay, so where were we before Bigfoot fucking called us? I'm sorry. I think we were rating it. I think we're gonna oh, rate yeah. it. Uh ratings. It's nostalgia for me. Uh, fuck man. I grew up. Kind of watching this on and off, and I grew up in a very small town, so like, oh, you know, whatever. <sighs> you rate it first. You rate it first. I'm so fun rated. I'm okay, so coming, coming with it to that. fresh eyes and just this specific episode. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was campy. Um, I never really got bored. I kind of liked all of their characters. I it felt a little bit stilted. Um, it, because it was in the second season, you know, it's still getting its legs, oh. but it was so still nice. like a very like a fun a fun little f- romp down memory lane. So even though <laughs> I had never watched it, it still encapsulated a certain feeling towards me and in with calculator. me and at me and in me. In me, uh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. say a three. I'll say a three. Let's go. A three. Let's go. Wait, wait. You gave Noah's shark a fucking three, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I said I enjoyed it's Noah's shark. Well. Hmm. Okay. So you gave him a three, and I gave Last of Us a five. And this does have a lot of. Dang, 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 dang. Um, that Bigfoot thing. I did think it was a Tara Reed, so I had to take a half point away for not being Tara Reed. Mm, yeah. Thing from being favorite. The eggs, you gotta, you know, with the eggs, you gotta think about that. Raisins versus chocolate, you gotta put that in yes. it. Yeah. Yes, I, I agree. All right, I'm gonna give it, oh, Saved by the Bell college years. No, minus yeah. Biker Mice from Mars. Holy <laughs> shit. I didn't know, I did not know Brian Austin Green did Biker Mice from Mars because that's also Aaron Zering's cartoon. It was a fun cartoon. That was a punk cartoon. I should give him a half point higher for that. Yeah, I'm sure. giving this one a, a three. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's I a solid it's three. Fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's what it, it, it is. Fun. It's exactly what you want. It's not a lot of thinking. And sure, maybe everyone gets raped or dies in the next fucking episode or two. But overall, <laughs> other than honestly, that. I I appreciated um because there is a great scene too. Of a man talking about um, assaults on women and basically telling men, no, like men have. Yeah, Brendan, or not Brendan, uh, Dylan, Luke Perry said sure. that. Yep. Basically, you know, no, this is not your fault. This is a male problem, you know? And um, yeah. and I thought that, especially for the 90s, I thought that was very refreshing. I mean, honestly, to this day, that should still be a thing. Uh, absolutely. And the funny thing is, Sharon Dollarty's character started to give Kelly's shit. You know, yeah. she started to slut shame. Like, oh, it's your yeah, like, it's well, you were you wearing, wearing like, this oh, and this and that. Yeah. And he was the one that's like, absolutely not. You could be wearing whatever you want and still, you know, that's not your fault. It is not your fault. Well, that's the wisdom that comes with being 35 in high school. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm exactly looking it. exactly like her brother. Yeah. Uh, so, three, three. I, I will mention one thing because I I know that they're in Biker Mice from Mars. I'm looking at the cast for Biker Mars, uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Rob Paulson from Picking the Brains in this thing. Ian Zering, of course. Brad Garrett is in it. There's a lot. Honestly. Brian Austin Green. Mark Hamill. Honestly, cartoons of that era had incredible voice actor talent. Yes. They really, really did. did. Yes. Fucking this is cartoon shows and me and it was a fun show it was a really fun show it, it was but, a wild show that you kind of never knew what was going to happen maybe we should start doing cartoons <laughs> maybe i've thought about doing uh 
the the real Ghostbusters before. Um, uh, you do was, real Ghostbusters, I'll do the other one. Which one? With the ape. Oh god, the actual Ghostbusters yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could compare because yeah. honestly, like the go the the real Ghostbusters show. There's so many great little moments that are just pure genius. The climber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's the next episode. We'll do Ghostbusters versus Ghostbusters and we'll like. If we we'll can find it streaming. Well, probably somewhere. Uh, and maybe. we'll do the uh, Ghostbusters with Kate McKinnon, even though I love Kate McKinnon. That movie's dog shit. I love Kate McKinnon. She... I love everyone in that cast. I think that movie's dog shit. I would kind of maybe marry her if she asked me. Not you. that she would. I would marry her. You would marry her. I would marry you. Um, we're married to her. <laughs> we have this polycule. Fuck yes. Um, <laughs> I, I adore Kate McKinnon. No, she's, okay. she's, she's so talented. funny. Fuck. She's talented. She's fuck. so funny. And she's so gorgeous in that movie. Yeah. I'm a talent whore. I think that's what I discovered. I'm a talent whore. I think I think that's your kink, and that's fine. Maybe. Matt, maybe I don't that, shame I don't that. that. I don't, like, I don't care how people look. I just like their fucking talent. You know, people, yeah. listeners, you've learned a lot about us today. You've learned a lot about us. We would and both you, fucking marry Kate McKinnon. I guess that's yeah. where we Tara Reid is not in the one oh. No. And we think Bigfoot sounds just like her, apparently. I thought she was just smoking. Apparently. You know, I just thought she had a head cold. Like, sometimes in her yeah. movies, she sounds a little bit like she has a head cold. Mm. You know, this is going to be awkward as fuck if she ever hears any of this. But, Honestly, I think she, I think she's cool enough to to play. You yeah, know, well, another thing, we really, Tara, we really do like you. Yeah, we do. I mean, we keep watching your movies. There's no reason. Out of a way to find your fucking movies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> half fucking second, like Mummy Dearest. I fucking watched Alone in the Dark for you. Alone. I mean, and in the dark, not laughing in bed, like Noah Shark. Yeah, I did laugh in bed and kick my feet a little. <laughs> um, all right so do you have plugs the only plug i'm gonna do is apparently i'll be at gen con for something hey <laughs> no i'll be in gen con in august the first weekend of august we are pimping our game you're fucked come check us out at the first play <laughs> game whatever uh studio test hall thingy majigger and we're also doing a speech about inclusivity and in horror or writing yeah. or something. I don't know. I'm with some fun people. Check us out. Brox, what do you want to plug? I'm going to plug. It's actually an app. We did not pay, get paid to say this or anything like that. This is my personal thing. I just got an app um, for yeah. Yeah, self. Know. It's like self care. It's baby, oh, nice. basically like um, gamification of your <laughs> self care. Whoa. And it's called Finch. And um, F I N C H. And basically, you get this little baby Finch. And he gets, he or she or they, because you can put in pronouns too, um, they get stronger yeah. as um, you do things for yourself, like drinking water or being more oh. active or um, meditating or doing yoga and things like that. Um, so basically, and then you can buy them like little hats and decorate their houses. It's so stupid, but in a way it's so addicting and fun. Cute. And I do it, and you can get friends with it too. So you can get your friends involved and go oh. visit each other and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. It's like the Digi Pets, but for F I N C H. So Digi Pets. I'm name. like, it's a Tamagotchi for your self care. That's like a Tamagotchi. I can never really. It's remember like a one. Tamagotchi now, and you get seven days for free. And then if you uh, want to, if you want to buy it, but honestly, I think it was like forty four bucks for a year. Forty-four like, bucks for a year. You know how many eggs I can fucking do people with? Like two, two dozen. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so far I've, I've, I did the seven-day trial, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going because I was having fun, and it. I mean, it was making me get up and actually do stuff, which I kind of needed it's to do. Matter, and that, that's just priceless. Exactly, exactly. And again, like I said, me and my friends, we can talk about it together, and and buy mushroom hats for our, our dumb birds that don't exist. <laughs> that, that, that's the, you said the campfire is feeling better. And sometimes that's what you need. It's just something to get your ass and do feel Literally, better. Literally, 
literally as we were talking, um, my little my little bird just texted me and said, "Thinking of you." <laughs> That's a bit creepy, but okay. I'll allow. He's he sends me messages, you know, and tells me that I can. To the people I talk to now. <laughs> See, for me, it's creepy. From my bird, it's 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 adorable. It's like if Jelly Beans the cat like could text, but she could. She has thumbs. She's just lazy. Um, lazy thumbs. Oh yeah, Jelly Bean does have thumbs. You're right. She does. She does. She does have thumbs. And uh, but she's just lazy. She won't text me. Well, we'll have to get her like that little cricket thing. I guess I guess Bigfoot has a fucking thing. Did you tell me? You know what to do. Yeah, all right, I, mean, all I right, can buy right. it, but anyway, so that's that. Um, that's that. That's all. We just want to say congratulations, Jamie Lee Curtis, for winning your Oscar. Yes! Oh, oh my week. gosh! Yes! Most of won it for, but and really she's, she she said that. stuff about the horror fans. I loved it. Yeah, anyway, I'm happy she did. So thank y'all. See you next week. Okay. Next week. See you in two weeks. Bye. Yep. Bye. 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 I hear a cat. I love looking at it. <laughs>